What's up Cozy Gamers, Palea has dropped another huge dev update and I have to share it with you all. Most of the updates we will get into today will be coming to Palea on September 26th when update 0.169 drops. I'm assuming it'll happen after the Maji market is officially over, but trust me, there are some things you're gonna wanna know so you can prepare accordingly. Let's get into it. First up, Singularity 6 is adding obstacle courses to the game. These will be completely supplementary, meaning they will not be required activities for anyone who doesn't want to do them. To this end, the devs have stated that no items nor rewards will be tied to these obstacle courses, so you don't have to worry about missing out on anything good if you're just not interested. I think this is a nice approach to something like this. I just hope climbing in these courses won't be as bugged as climbing mountains. Next up, an answer to all our flow tree problems. Flow tree groves will be added to the game, which are groups of flow trees that will spawn once per Palean day in Bahari Bay. These groups will create a large flow plume, which will make seeing them from a distance much easier. We don't know exactly how many will spawn each time, but it should be better than having to deforest the entire map to force spawn flow. I'm sure we've all been there. I'm just hoping players will continue to call flow out, even though it'll be more plentiful. Speaking of helping one another, flare arrows are being added to the game as well. I'm wondering if this was brought about by all the fireworks players were getting when the Maji Market event first started. I know a lot of people were using them to draw attention to Palium and Flow, which was pretty ingenious. If it was, it's cool to see players giving the devs ideas. Flare arrows will take 5 heartwood, 5 flint, 1 crystal lake lotus, and can be crafted in bunches of 5. Along with flare arrows, we're also getting proximity chats, which is something I've wanted for a while. This will allow players to talk privately to one another during group activities without flooding the community chat. I noticed that happened a lot when people were having cake parties at their private plots. The next update might be my favorite. Ammo, bait, and quest pouches. Singularity 6 is addressing the huge issue of constantly running out of pocket space even with the fully upgraded bag. Now, ammo and bait will be in a separate tab which starts with one row. Four additional rows will be purchasable from Zeki's shop. Hope you have the money. Additionally, we'll also get a quest pouch which will house, you guessed it, quest items. No longer will you need to worry about having room for them in your primary pouches or keeping them in your storage boxes. This alone is such a huge quality of life update because I hated having to go all the way back to my plot and then all the way back to Bahari Bay if that's where I was. So. I don't know. I feel like this is the best thing that we'll see today. Next, we're getting more workbench upgrades, which we've already seen mentioned in previous dev updates. They will include sorting options and updated tabs, allowing us to more quickly find what we're looking to craft. This is huge for the furniture, especially since the UI is a bit off for them. Has anyone else noticed that the Ravenwood series, for example, is broken up into two bunches in the list? It's so weird. This next update is super interesting. They are adding what are called star stones to mining. These are essentially what we know as birthstones IRL. They can be found in multiple rarities while mining and will sell for a very high value. If you decide to keep them, however, they can be gifted to villagers who will respond positively when receiving their own star stone. We don't know exactly how valuable they will be, but hopefully they will allow players to make money at a more reasonable pace because cake parties are officially getting nerfed. We already knew this was coming, but now we have a more solid confirmation. In fact, the devs themselves have stated in these patch notes that they recommend having a bake sale this weekend. I know I certainly will be. The update is coming on Tuesday, so at the time of this video, we really only have four or five days left. And that means four or five days left to not only have the cake parties, make the cakes, but also sell them. So be warned, and get that money now. <laughs> Lastly, they hinted at a couple more things on the horizon, including a kneeling emote, new skin tones and facial features, new hunting creatures, additional improvements to the request system, and also something that is redacted and followed by a muscle emoji, hot dog emoji, and heart emoji. I'm thinking dating Hodari is just around the corner. That aside though, I'm really excited for more facial features so we can all make our characters a bit more distinct. Sometimes it feels like everyone looks like twins. And new creatures will also be huge. Hunting is a big and fun part of the game, so more variety is always welcome. 
What do you guys think? Excited? I know I am, and I'll definitely be playing a lot of Paleo in the near future. If you like today's video and want more cozy gaming news and updates, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment down below with your thoughts. And if you want to hang out with me live while I play Paleo and other cozy games, be sure to follow me over on Twitch where I stream three days a week. All my socials will be in the description box below. Until next time, cozy gamers, stay cute.